Welcome to Happy Chef Kitchen. In today's video, I'll be making ki traditional kimchi, but with a difference. Uh, instead of using traditional nabe cabbage, I'll be using just muli. So this recipe will be slightly simple and easier and quicker than what you're used to in making kimchi. So let's uh, jump straight into it. The ingredient list I will be using in today's recipe. So I have here five garlic cloves, two tablespoons of fish sauce. We're going to be using half an apple, half muli, uh, two teaspoons of Korean chili. If you want some more uh, flavor into there, you can use, dice some normal chilies in there. That'll get an uh, excellent flavor there. Uh, half of an uh, onion, uh, a tablespoon of salt, and two teaspoons of caster sugar or you can use any type of sugar that you have at, in your home. And we have three spring onions. First of all, we're going to uh, start on our muli. So uh, first of all, you go and wash your muli. So removing all the dirt, bacteria, and all that bad stuff. Uh, then we're going to cut this in half. And then what we're going to do is top our, uh, our muli, this top end here, remove that off. Uh, and then we're going to start peeling it. Uh, we're going to peel this two times. The reason why? Because the UK muli here, it has a hard skin. Now we're going to move on and uh, dice our muli. Now we're going to uh, put our diced muli into a mixing bowl and we're going to put our salt in and then let that to sit for half an hour over half an hour uh, so we're going as you can see I've added a bit more muli just for the pure reason I'm cooking for my family and they really love kimchi and as you can see there's a lot of uh, water that's been produced from the salt uh, we're going to then test our muli out uh, see checking up or if the salt content is uh, too much or too little so Uh, so if it's too salty, you, we're going to uh, wash that just to get rid of some of the salt uh, excess uh, from our muli. But if, it's, if your one is okay, you're going to progress to the next step. As you can see, I've extracted some of the, uh, some of the salty water because we'll still be using this for our kimchi paste. So now we're going to move on to our kimchi paste. So what we need is to prepare our apple and we're going to remove the skin of the apple, remove the core and we're going to just cut that into uh, manageable pieces and place that into our food processor. We're going to also place our garlic and remove the root of the onion and rough chop that and throw those into our food processor, process them, process them very well and we're going to then slightly add a bit of our salt water just a tiny drop or two so it uh, becomes all into a paste so now we're going to uh, rough chop our spring onions uh, we're going to top and tail them of course and then rough chop them so now we're going to uh, with in our muli we're going to place our uh, processed ingredients we're going to also place our rest of everything else into the uh, mixing bowl and then we're going to bind that all together until it's fully incorporated. A side note, when you're going to bind this all together, you really want to make sure you wear some gloves. So you, the Korean chili one, it will probably hurt if you've got a cut or something. So wear a pasta. Two, it will stain your hands quite badly. So please be aware of that. Just bind it all together and then leave it for a day. So uh, we fully incorporated everything with our paste now. So now we're going to transfer this into a glass jar. Make sure your glass jar is not airtight as well. You, you'll have to leave this for a day so it can fermentate fully. But if you want to more, have more of a sour taste, leave for at least two to three days in room temperature. You may see some air bubbles as well in developing during like your second or first day. This is typically normal.
Now that how to make my kimchi with a twist. So if you like this sort of content, please give it a like, share it with friends and family, and in and subscribe to the Happy Chef YouTube channel. Remember to hit that bell to never miss a video. It does help uh, with subscribing to my channel. So please uh, stay safe everyone and stay uh, happy and enjoy cooking.